Hello people of the internet, it's Imanza and for today's video, I'm here to talk about a J movie that recently started streaming on Netflix that admittedly I just wanted to watch because of the stars that it cast but when I watched it, I ended up loving it. It's not exactly something that's novel or with a crazy concept or anything like that but it's definitely touching a little bit heartbreaking i think i cried a little in some of the narr in, in some of the subplots and anything like that but um i think it's a must is a it's a must watch i highly recommend it and that's the reason why i'm making this video i'm talking about the parades and these are the things that i like and probably sh some of the little things that i didn't like about it that might convince you to either check it or skip it so without further ado let's just get to it <laughs> So before I move on to talking about the plot, let's talk about the cast first. So the core cast of this film um, includes Nagasawa Masami, Sagakuchi Kentaro, Yokohama Ryusei, Lily Frankie, Terajima Shinobu, Tanaka Tetsushi, Mori Nana, even Kurushima Yuina is here. And there's definitely a lot more of them. So again, I... Inten like initially, I just wanted to watch this because of the cast. I didn't even look at. I didn't even read the synopsis for this one up until I was about to watch it on Netflix. I was just really excited seeing this ensemble in the same movie. And so the plot is um, starts off with Nagasawa Masami's character, Minako. She passes away because of a tragic er earthquake that affected this entire town. And um, she she's looking for her son, wondering what happened to him. And because of this, she passed away having this regret of... of of you know of, of leaving a loved one especially one that's dependent on her because her son is still young um and that's a reason why she ended up in this kind of like limbo um of not being able to pass on later she learns that she's not alone and there are other kind of like spirits who are in the afterlife still lingering on earth because of their unresolved feelings um lack of closure with their loved ones all of these other things um, these characters are you know the played by the other actors that I mentioned earlier now again as I mentioned this kind of plot we've seen it before in other movies Western movies other Asian movies um, we've read it in books where it's an exploration of what happens in the afterlife and how people are kind of like dealing with things that um, are probably unresolved because of how unpredictable life really is and it's the same with this one like it still explores that kind of theme each of the characters take turn into having their own subplots as to how they're trying to kind of like find closure with these people that they love that situations that they left hanging all of these other things in order for them to pass on and the title the parades refers to this parade that happens once a month where these souls of like having these lingering emotions and feelings kind of like go in search of these the people that they want to have closure with um, and some of them use this as a chance to like meet these people talk to these people all these things and finally get the closure that they need in order to pass on but the focus of the story isn't necessary like the parades it's kind of like just um uh this this event that is used in the narrative as this constant activity that happens just to show that there are other souls not just a core team that is experiencing this kind of phenomena but um overall the the narrative focuses on again the sub stories that is related to each of the main characters stories now i would say i wouldn't spoil the stories of the other characters as well as you know how it turns out whatever but all i can say is that it's kind of like weird to me that nagasawa masami's character even if we start the narrative with her plot being a mother looking for her son and you know having all these regrets of of the other times where she could have been she could have spent a lot more time with him or that you know she she's leaving him behind because she passed away ac accidentally and all these things for me the other stories of like the other characters um had a lot more impact in a way because they their regrets are a lot more deep rooted into something that is i don't know like to me there's just a lot of of 
of grip in terms of the narratives of the other people compared to the main storyline that we should have been paying attention to in the first place, I guess. But it's not a major issue for me. It's more of just this idea that usually in these types of stories, this, the center narrative would be whoever it is that we started the story from and that's where the story would circle on. And then there would just be sub-stories about these other characters. But for me, the, the stories of the sub-characters overpowered the story that is supposed to be for Minako's character. So there's just one thing. Especially the storyline of Lily Frankie and the character that he played, Michael. I feel like that that was kind of like the main ish, really the main ish um, storyline about you know stories of of regret, of closure. All these things made a lot more sense, and it tied all of, almost all of the narratives together in a, in a way. So that's one thing. Um, I think the performances are really strong. It's kind of like expected for a film with such a star-studded cast. I like that it touched upon different age ranges in terms of the characters that um, was being presented. A lot of narratives in terms of like family, of love, of, of dreams, of all these things. And again, ultimately, I think the appeal of these types of films is the the innate curiosity of humans on what happens in the afterlife because we all just don't know and again as predictable as life is i think there's this fear in all of us and not to talk about it in a general manner but maybe for most people the fear is not doing enough or not making the most out of your life or not having closure with the people you love and it's probably that fear at the back of her head that makes these types of stories resonate and connect with the viewers and again as i mentioned there's nothing really novel about this particular movie um, that we haven't seen before there's a lot of cliche predictable plot lines here and there um and again it taps into the idea of grief of of death of all these things that is very natural to people but at the same time something that we probably have issues um dealing with or connect or, or kind of like experiencing because of how difficult they really are when faced with raw emotions um but i think to me i found it really beautiful i found myself being teary-eyed in some of the narratives um and it's just something that is very simple drama like these other things and um, again, aside from some of the arcs overpowering the main storyline, I don't really have a lot of negative things to say about it. It's, it's just more of, again, adding into this, this entire idea of humans' fear of, of not living life enough. To be, and I think that's the main point of it, is no matter how fulfilled you, you, you work your life around in all these things, there will always be something that you wouldn't have closure with, that you wouldn't have um, a final say on. And um, I think these types of films kind of like hit you with that reality or hopefulness or wishful thinking that there still is something that can be done and you shouldn't be too afraid of, of, of these chances or anything like that. And I don't know, I mean, that these kinds of questions always spark human creativity. These types of things that make us curious or make us feel something or something that we fear or anything like that always make for an interesting narrative because it's kind of like real and touching in a way. Um, and that's how the parades felt to me. Like it's not a completely perfect film. It's not something that's new or exciting or anything like that, but it just feels like a very human film. And that's probably the reason why I absolutely loved and enjoyed it. And again, super, super love it. I love that Yokohama Ryusei is playing a Yakuza in this one and he had to wear tattoos. He was smoking. He, was like, he looked really amazing in this film. He's one of the main reasons why I ended up watching it. But I absolutely like, absolutely again love the way that this film was and i highly recommend it it's on netflix so i hope that a lot more people get to watch it and yeah 
So with that said, tell me down in the comments below, what are your thoughts? Have you seen this movie? Um, any other movies that you recommend that is in any streaming platforms that you want me to check out? Please let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from you, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon in a new one. Bye!